name is David Hewitt. I've uh, been an engineer for 40 some odd years, uh, mostly specializing in live recording uh, in the field, but occasionally I come back into the studio and essentially we do the, the same thing uh, live here. Uh, back in the uh, early 70s, I was at the Record Plant Studios in New York, uh, where they had a Spectrosonics console that we used a lot. And of course, there are uh, six tens and all that kind of thing. Now we're coming back into the uh, uh, studio doing some live things here, and the SST uh, folks and uh, Roy Sakala made available some of the newer Spectrosonic pieces. Last night uh, we were in here with Will Calhoun and uh, his various incarnations of his trios. Uh, we had available the Spectrosonics uh, 502 stereo uh, mic pre's and EQ's. And that worked out perfectly for us. Uh, primarily, the the, you know, the thing to me in live recording is the headroom and the reliability of it, because we uh, you never know what you're going to get you know, from the uh, very low level um, you know, soft jazz things that we were doing last night, right up to the uh, full tilt rockers. Because um, you might remember that Will uh, from Living Color knows how to rock. Yeah, this is the Spectrosonics uh, 610 uh, comp limiter. Uh, we used them uh, extensively back at the record plant, and uh, many, many engineers have used them over the years, so we're very glad to see this, uh, this version coming back out. Um, again, I specialize in live recording, so one of the things that's uh, uh, very important to me is to be able to, to uh, throw that comp limiter on and know that I, I can have some rough presets and that, that it's going to come out great you know, just from the, from the get-go. But it's, it's basically good for whatever you want to throw at it. I, I've never had it <laughs> sound bad on anything. So again, we're glad to see Spectrosonics back in the game with this thing.